there, today we're going to do a quick setup guide for this drone, the E59 Mark III Delta Black from the Bigley Brothers. To help you get started, we've prepared a, prepared a straightforward setup guide for you just to have a look at. Just follow these steps and you'll be flying in no time. Just a quick note, uh, there is a, cru a couple of crucial steps in this video. Um, the geometric calibration which is step four, requires a quick press of the button, while the gyro calibration needs a press and hold for three seconds. Failing to perform these steps correctly may prevent the successful completion of the geometric calibration and the gyro, gyro calibration. Okay, firstly you're going to remove the drone from its case, and you're going to very carefully extend all the arms fully to prevent any unexpected crashes. At this time, if you want to add the uh, obstacle avoidance system, you plug it in now right in the top. Make sure the battery is charged 100% and it is fitted securely into the rear of the drone. Then you're going to power on the drone, press the button and hold it. You'll see the lights come on and the rotors will move and there will be a tune. This means it's in binding mode, so it wants to bind to the controller. Next, you're going to take the controller, open it up, press the power on button. Wait for a few seconds to the for the drone and the remote to connect. Lights have stopped flashing and the controller is connected to the drone. Okay, now we are going to do the geomagnetic calibration. Very quickly you've got to touch the geomagnetic calibration button on the remote controller. It's crucial for the, dr uh, the drone's orientation this button right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to press the button quickly. The drone lights will start flashing. Now what you're going to do is pick up the drone and you're going to rotate it three times until it beeps. Then you're going to turn it facing down and rotate it again. The double beep means that the geomagnetic calibration is done. Now I'm doing this inside because the weather is absolutely horrific outside. So this is a step you will perform outside but it will work in the same manner. Now what you're going to do is the gyro calibration. You're going to press and hold the gyro calibration button on remote for about three seconds. Now this step is essential just to ensure the drone's stability in the air. So you're going to look at the controller, the same button, you're going to press and hold it till it beeps. One, two, there. Let it sit, and then it beeps again. That means that the gyro calibration is set up. They're two very simple steps, but they're really important for the control while flying the drone. Now, as I said before, the weather is really bad so I can't do this outside. But those two steps are to be done outside. And once those steps are done, you're going to look for a GPS signal acquisition. What you do is you place the drone in front, horizontally in front of you and you step away from it for about a meter. Then what you're going to do is let the drone search for um, GPS signals. It could take three to five minutes. The remote control will actually beep and let you know once there are sufficient GPS signals, which is approximately eight or higher. And it will actually tell you on the remote. There's a little satellite signal and it will tell you, right now it says zero because we're inside, but it will, and it says pieces. So if you don't hear a beep, check the, uh, the GPS value right there just to make sure you've got a strong enough signal. But once you get over eight, you're ready to fly. Now what you're gonna need to do 
is to connect the drone to the phone app. So of course you don't have the phone app yet. So what you're going to do is either you can go to the uh, the App Store on Apple or the Google Play Store and you're going to download an app called RX Drone. The easiest way to do it is go to the little manual they give you with the drone and you can just use the QR code for either the Apple Store or the Google Play Store and uh, then you're going to download it to your phone. Next what you're going to do is connect your phone to the drone's Wi-Fi. I suggest turning off your mobile data because it does help to prevent interference during the process. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your settings on your phone, connections, Wi-Fi, and then you're going to wait a second. And this, it will be something the same in your phone, HF, GPS, 5G. You're going to click on there. Whoops. And I messed it up. One day I'll figure this out. Okay, there we go. So it's checking the quality of your internet connection. And this is connected without internet. Basically what that's doing, the drone itself gives off a Wi-Fi signal and all we're doing is connecting to it with our mobile phone. Okay, what you're going to do now is go to the RX drone application on your phone. If prompted, um, agree to the user agreement, privacy policy, and when you're asked, uh, you need to grant the necessary permissions for the application to function properly. Then you're going to open RX drone. You will get a nice welcome screen and then you hit start fly. Now as soon as you see the uh, image from the drone's camera on your, on your phone screen it indicates that the drone's application is successfully connected and ready to use. Just to note if the camera feed doesn't show after you press the start button press the back button and then press the start button again and load back in. So with that you're all ready to fly your drone so have fun flying and have a wonderful day.